Time Magazine announcing its Person of the Year for 2017 today, honoring a group instead of one person. The magazine chose women who they dubbed the silence breakers, those fighting back against sexual harassment and assault, sparking the Me Too online movement. And new tonight, we're hearing from a local lawmaker who spoke out about her own experience of harassment at the State House. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen has more on what she had to say today, live in studio. Steve? Representative Teresa Tanzi says she's proud the Silence Breakers have been named Time Person of the Year and says her story was just a very small part of it. In the midst of a national movement, Rhode Island State Representative Teresa Tanzi's words made headlines across the country. I felt um, that I was one of the dominoes in a long line of dominoes that was part of this, this movement. The four-term South Kingstown Democrat revealed in October a higher-ranking member of the General Assembly told her sexual favors could advance her legislation. Her story became a part of the hashtag MeToo movement. Millions worldwide have tweeted about their experiences with sexual harassment and assault. Wednesday morning, Time Magazine named the Silence Breakers as the person of the year. I felt that it was the obvious choice. It really was the biggest story of the year. I felt very um, proud to have been a, a small part in it, and um, I was just so proud of the women who began this. Tansy has never named the person who made the comments to her because she says if she does, the conversation will be just about one person instead of the broader issue. To me, this was just um, providing an opening for other people to feel comfortable to step forward. Tansy says there's still much more to be done. The resolution isn't here yet. I think we're identifying it. I think that people are finding it more difficult to deny that this is a reality for many women um, in the workplace. And House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello asked Tansy to chair a study commission focusing on workplace harassment, and Tansy says progress has been made there. As we've previously reported, the Attorney General and state police are looking into this. Today, they said they can't comment on the status or direction of the investigation. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.